Hey Jody, I'm over here at the tree. Just going to show you what I see being this close. As you can see, um, it's really hard to even see anything inside given that the entrance is so small. Um, I can't even tell like how big the hive is. Um, and there's just like no way to see how big this is that we're dealing with. Um, there's a few different options that we discussed. So I would have to cut like a hole, you know, that big to be able to get my hands in there. Um, you can see that the oak is really thick, so it's not easy to do that. Um, I have a feeling that the hive is quite large. I can feel warmth um, over here um, telling me that there's calm and activity behind. Um, I've looked and there aren't any other holes in the tree. Um, so again, like Oh, this is really fun to see. This little girl with her pollen pants on. She's got pollen on her legs here. She's fanning to the other girls to come in. Um, anyway, so... Here's another one. All that pollen that they have. So anyway, um, yeah, the only way to remove them is to cut into the tree. There is one other method called a trap out that essentially would be that I place a cone over the entrance made of wire and it's thick at the bottom and then really narrow out here if you can imagine that. And essentially the bees can come out but they can't go back in. The only problem with that is that given that you've got children here it's not safe because there will be confused bees bees that will be stuck outside and that's just not um, a really that's not a good option at all um, that I've done in other trees and it, it works but in situations where there's not people um, in the area so um, unfortunately we're left with two options um, yeah, which is to cut open the tree or um, to use a chemical for extermination. Um, they're super mellow right now and I think it's because of the weather. Typically when it's uh, rain is coming, they're pretty mellow. It's really cloudy out today. Um, yeah, I am... Um, let me do a little more thinking, but initially I just wanted to share my thoughts with you. Oh, here's one. I see her on my hood. <laughs> She's really sweet. Um, man, it's probably a big hive in there, that's for sure. All right, um, I'll give you a call this week too. Bye.